Hello and welcome to some more Persona 5 Royal. My name is Anthony, half of Rianne. And today, we got to continue our objectives. We're going to investigate the rumors about Matarame. And, uh, yeah, it's looking like he's the new target. So, let's figure that stuff out. I think we got left off needing to go to sleep. So, let us go to sleep. So the PPP, the last variable was the student, hey, right? It's me. Okay. I just can't forgive Matarame, but what on set made me think. Uh huh. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? Yeah, he was particularly mean to us, right, Yusuke? I still need to know more about him. Yeah, I don't know. I genuinely don't know why he's treating us like that. You don't know either, huh? Yeah. It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while while shitty adults do whatever they want. Freaking adults. Makes me sick. I I'm not wrong, am I? No, I don't think so. You're right. I agree with Yuji. Seriously. What? Well, see you tomorrow. All right. Hmm. All right. I contacted Kitagawa-kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Uh, what? <laughs> Cover yourself in paint? How is that relevant at all? Just be yourself. Okay. That's actually kind of hard. Okay, okay, okay. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madaranme, remember? That is true. It sounded like Kitagawa-kun wanted this to be a private picture of his, though. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Okay. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. <laughs> Ryuji. <laughs> We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. I mean, it probably find is. Out. It's that student council president. Oh my gosh. What was her name? I forgot already. Did it start with an N? Yikes. She got hold of Mishima today? And it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Oh. Okay, see you later. Gotta split up. Don't want to look too suspicious. Oh. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. Let's. But man, Han's late. Uh oh. Sorry. Oh, I thought she was in trouble or something. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? Yes. Absolutely. I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. I mean, he's probably one of the victims, right? The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Ooh, some blackmail. Some juicy blackmail. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? <laughs> prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you. Did she cut her bangs? What? No, not at all. I don't know. I feel like she's got more makeup on or something. <laughs> she's right here. Just ask her. Nope. I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. He did. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Matarame. 
He's not gonna be happy that we're all here. We're just in there. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. <laughs> Wouldn't you get nervous too if it was just the two of us? I love that she's being totally honest here. We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted. <laughs> and Ryuji, you can always count on him being honest like that. Oh God. Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? <laughs> okay. Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Oh, stop talking. I'm drawing. You hear her? Dude, he's in the zone right now. Hmm. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was just obsessed. Well, we I wanted to see the the drawing. Happen. Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. <laughs> Perhaps I should try going outside this room. What? Okay, cut. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. What? Are we going to play as Morgana? That would be good. Ooh. It's weird how flashy that door is. And the lock on and it. Is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Please don't be something too weird. <sighs> are you done? Are you done? Immediately are you done? Are we there yet? It's no good. Huh? What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. Oh. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Something oh, happened. Hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? <laughs> I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. We need some info. Come it's on, about on. those rumors regarding your sensei. Oh yes, here we go. This again. In that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually she painted knows. it, right? She knows. That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. Wait, did we... Did we see evidence of physical beating? I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking Still about. Still defending him. What's going on? You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Dude. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. Kitagawa-kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so he doesn't care about this. Clearly he's okay with it. And the other pupils? Dude, what about the other victims? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Supporting, though, it's... Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Well... Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. What's happening? Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. 
I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. I, uh... What the F, man? What the F, man? That's what I'm thinking. Ryuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. Mm-hmm. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. What is of going on? Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. What the F is going on? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? <laughs> Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because oh my those gosh. are my terms. Because those are my terms. <sighs> that's... Dude. Wait, ain't that bad? Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Oh, okay. Will you give me a second here? Yeah, dude, let her process that. Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! What? Hey, what should we do? Leave. Yeah, we have to leave, dude. He got us good this time. He got us good. What does that even mean? We came uninvited. Don't give up so easily. And he tolerated us. Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron. <laughs> you moron. <laughs> That was bad. I feel like that was bad. He's totally he heard the cat. Mind. I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. Well. How dare that you skate? The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi, but full on nude. Dude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady Yon's gonna drop it. <laughs> she didn't agree. <laughs> you know. You won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? What? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No, it is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. Yeah, I mean, he's barely fine with it. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. It's true, he's a big, he's a big bad guy. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too, before he ends up like us. Right. Hmm. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Okay. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Yes, yes. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? <laughs> uh, not necessarily. 
<clears throat> oh yeah, it might not show your face. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel any better about it. <laughs> we must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again. So, uh, where to meet up? Oh, we gotta. Let's see. We have a new. We have to have a new meetup place. I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Yes, that is a good idea. Your hideout has moved from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Teikyu Building Access Way. Okay. Oh. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Okay, random new lady. Like the huh? fanny pack. From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stocking fans. Huh? Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. Okay. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? We don't care about art. <laughs> uh, I don't like either of these, but okay. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. What the hell? Why did I say that? There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Oh, she's a reporter? Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. Wait, 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 wait. Can we get your business card? I'm a journalist. Okay, If you good. ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? Sure. See you then. Okay. That was great. I guess we should go home for today. Mmm. Mm. I like that. <sighs> Whatever. I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on nude, then claiming to report us to the police? Beep, beep, beep. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. It better be really good news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Oh. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Huh? Just submit a thing on the site. Why me? Talking to him in person if you want specifics. What the f Aren't we trying to remain anonymous? All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. What? I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Uh, isn't that the same guy? Nakanohara. That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. What? I found out something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. Whoa. Is that true? That journalist was looking into Madarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably going to be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Matarame is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. For sure. I guess that's a good way to approach it. Like, try to find other former pupils. Oh, gosh. Evening, Tuesday. I'm gonna keep doing this. We just go to sleep, right? Uh, I mean, let's do something. Tools? Let's make some tools. Okay. Lockpicks? I can't. I don't have enough to make lockpicks. Consumables?
Mm, I want lockpicks, but I don't have stuff. I mean, it's good to make coffee, right? Yeah, let's just brew hey. some coffee. Make sure you close up. Hmm. So we got to meet up tomorrow with Naka Nohara. Should yes. we really be meeting right. with these people like in real life? I feel sketchy. school meeting. Well, then. Oh, we're going straight there. We're going straight there. No choice. Yo. Yo. We're about to head to the hideout, too. Yes. Who's that? Excuse me. It's him. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. Okay, what does he know? For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. Uh-huh. What do you know about us? He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. What? Okay. I think the change of heart must have worked. Oh yes, that's right. The administrator of that website contacted me. Uh-huh. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. Dude, Morgana is just way too obvious. <laughs> so, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. Did anybody explain to him who we are? Aren't we, shouldn't we try to stay anonymous here? What, what is going on? An artist by the name of Madarame. Yes. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil going to confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. Indeed. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well. A very talented man, multiple years my senior. Hmm. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Yes. All right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. I don't know if it's proof yet. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Okay. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. Yeah, that sounds right. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. Dude. I tried to turn over a new leaf, working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again. Please, make Madarame have a change of heart. Who does he think he's talking to? Not only for me. It's to save the life of another man as well. Yes, let's hear it. What do you mean? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. Yes, we know. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. Dude. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? This pain is worth it. If I could leave, oh. I would. Kitago-kun. 
I have no right to say this, given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. Again, does he know who we are? What is going on here? to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Yeah, try to save Yusuke. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Yeah. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa-kun really feels. Not directly from him, but that was pretty compelling. If I could leave... I would. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? That sounds great. That's a really great idea. My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Dude. <laughs> our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. It's just people walking by. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna. What? <laughs> so dramatic. We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? Oh. You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Mm, could be that. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Potentially. Either way, <clears throat> we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. Hmm, yeah, he's pretty loyal. That's, That's true. Right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I'm gonna guess it's that painting that was apparently stolen by a former pupil. Sayuri, is that the one? I doubt that. But my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? Yep, a real life time limit. That means June 5th. Oh wow, okay, that's only like two weeks away. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. Two and a half weeks. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Okay. Now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? It's time. Okay. Come on, it's time to get this mission started. Your mission to change Madarame's heart has begun. You must steal his treasure by the deadline. Special obstacles in palaces. Occasionally you will encounter palace obstacles that are impassable and require interacting with the target in the real world. Oh. I was just wondering about that. Whether you needed to do a back any back and forth between the palace and the real world, and it seems like yes. You will need to leave the palace to find the obstruction. Enter palaces quickly to find obstacles and triumph over challenges before the deadline. Okay. That will be it for this one. But we have a clear objective now with a deadline. He is our target. Madarame is the target. And from what I remember with the last palace, I was still trying to figure things out. But it seems like, yes, get in as soon as you can to learn as much as you can. And then use the intervening time between now and the deadline to take care of business, level up, get money. Um, buy recovery items, get new weapons and stuff. So you, you do scouting missions, you secure the path, 
you buff up, and then you go for that final mission. So I guess that's how you best use your time, I wonder. We'll, we'll figure it out, but you know, we'll find out next time. Thank you for watching. If you had fun, feel free to leave a comment below, like our video, or subscribe. That would be really cool, and thank you. We will see you next time.